trigonometric ratio, quadrants and angles. Question 8. Solve each equation for theta greater than or equal to 0 degrees and less than or equal to 360 degrees. First one is sine theta equals to 3 over 4 and second one is cos theta equals to minus square root 3 over 2. I would like you to do these questions yourself. You can stop the video here and once you have done, look into my solution. Okay. Now here is my solution. When I say sine theta is 3 over 4, I am also saying that sine theta is positive. Now, sin theta is positive in two quadrants, correct? As per the cast rule, sin theta is positive here and here. That means quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. So, we are expecting two solutions. Now, sin theta is 3 by 4. That means theta is equal to sin inverse of 3 by 4, correct? Let's use the calculator and find the answer. So we said sine inverse of 3 divided by 4 is equal to 48.59. So we get one answer as 48.59. So let's write down this as 48.6 degrees. Okay. So that is our related acute angle 48.6 in quadrant 1, correct? Similarly, we have another one which will be 48.6 from here, right? 48.6. But the solution is the principal angle. So one principal angle is 48.6, which is this, and the other one is 180 minus 48.6, correct? So we have got theta as this, and theta also as 180 degrees minus. 48.6 degrees, correct? So these are the two solutions for the given problem, right? So we can do this and figure out it is 131.4. So the other one is 131.4 degrees. And therefore, our answer is that theta equals to 48.6 degrees and 131.4 degrees, correct? So these are the two solutions for sine theta equals to 3 over 4. Now let's try to do the other half. The second part, which is cos theta equals to minus square root 3 over 2. Now minus square root 3 over 2, that means cos should be in quadrant 2 and 3, correct? In these two quadrants, cos is negative, right? So we have the cast rule, right? So it is negative in these two. So we are expecting two different answers. To do a problem like this, it is better to find the related acute angle, right? And square root 3 over 2 is one of our special triangles also, right? So let's try to make a special triangle here and figure out the answer. So this special triangle has sides 1, 2 and square root of 3. Cos is square root of 3 over 2, that means we are talking about this angle, which is pi by 6. So that's the angle, correct? So cos of pi by 6 is square root 3 over 2. So that is our related acute angle alpha, right? So we know alpha is pi by 6. But we are interested in these two answers because negative square root 3 over 2 means we are in this quadrant and in this quadrant, correct? So one of the answers for us is so that acute angle is actually pi by 6. So this angle is 1 less than pi by 6 and that is 1 more than pi by 6. 1 means pi more than, right? So our solutions for this is we'll write acute angle is pi by 6, right? Therefore angle theta is equals to 180, that is pi, so we are doing in degrees. Let me let me not write pi by 6 here. Okay. So I'll write 30 degrees. Okay. So it is 30 degrees. Correct. So 30 degrees. And so the other angles are 180 degrees plus 30 degrees and minus 30 degrees. Correct. So we get two solutions. One for quadrant 2, the other one for quadrant 3. So if you do minus 30 degrees, you get 150 degrees. And the other solution is 180 plus 30. 
which is 210 degrees, correct? So these are two answers for cos theta equals to minus square root 3 over 2, 150 degrees and 210 degrees, correct? That is how we are going to solve it. Thank you.